Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Heathkit SB220 here. Someone put the Harbach, a couple of the Harbach kits in, metering board, filter cap board, great kits. The air variable has some evidence of arcing. You can see it on the plates. I tried to clean it up, but it's just all over down in here, over here, on the edges. So that's, I'm just going to replace that. I don't want the customer to get it back and have uh, issues with it. So someone changed the capacitor over here, the padding cap, Brady meters. Change that. Change the plate blocker, rewind the parasitic expressor assemblies. Change the meter lamp bulb, so I'll clean the input rotary switch, the bin switch slash rotary switch. I'll uh, flip it over and show you the bottom. Be right back. Alright, so here's the bottom. I'll go ahead and Ground the grids. It's like uh, someone tried to do the bias mod. They moved the resistor down one, but they left the the uh, hundred the rectified 120 volts connected to the contact here. So I will have to lengthen that lead over to the coil, zip tie it, and everything. Someone's been in here before. I'll change the electrolytic. I'm going to talk to the customer about this board. I mean, it works, but you know, if, if that has a failure, it could put a short on the, the winding and damage the filament transformer. So, let's see, see anything else? That's about it. So, I'll touch up on solder joints, clean the TR relay. So also does the biasing. And uh, I'll be back. See you soon. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So I'm back with the completed Heathkit SB220. These amplifiers are rated for 1200 watts PEP max. And it could be lower depending on the mode you're operating. Always refer to the manual and make sure you're understanding the ratings. Sometimes they give you an input power rating and sometimes they give you a output power rating. So I always test these amplifiers when they're completed. I send a video to the customer either through text or email. Their choice on one band of their choosing showing the amplifier producing full output. Any more than the amount that's specified in the manual can cause damage and will end up causing damage. So please don't do it. You may not even notice damage that's occurred from being tested at levels above what it's supposed to do, but just don't do it. Not a good idea. To gain 3 dB, you have to double your output. So 1200 to 2400 watts is one half of an S unit. It's just not worth it. So going a little more than 1200, you don't, the, the other person's not going to notice anything. So just don't do it. It's not worth it. Not worth damaging the amplifier. Okay, so I ended up changing the plate tune air variable. Here's the old one. has arcing between the plates. So changed the plate blocking capacitor. Took out the old one. I removed that padding cap for 80 meters. Uh, it was actually screwed on to the loose screw for the high voltage crowbar. I mean, so it was wobbling around. So I put a, a new ceramic style in there. Lead lengths are nice and short. re the parasitic suppressors. These parasitics are fine. When the grids are grounded and the value is proper and hasn't drifted a ton. You know, remember, these were made a long time ago. So over time, with abuse and the fact that the grids aren't grounded when it's stock, you can end up with issues with Parasix. But a lot of times, they're, they're intact. It's just the values shifted, so I rewind them. That's part of my 
my service um, with what I do. I put 50 ohm ones and I have a whole uh, box of them and they're all within tolerance. So, you know, they work great. There's no, no reason to change that. I've seen people put in, like I've shown before, those crazy anode caps and crazy parasitic setups which bring the B positive closer to the top cover which is that chassis ground they end up with arcing issues and other other problems so you know why fix it if it ain't broke so the person someone put in a Harbach meter board kit and they didn't really do the greatest job soldering I mean it's okay but I did not put that in it was missing one of the nylon screws in the bottom so I added that over there I put the series glitch resistor in I changed the meter lamp bulbs Someone put the filter cap board kit in from Harbach. Great kits. Just lost it. You know, Jeff's a great guy over there. So, uh, that's all set. Clean the output rotary switch with deoxid gold. There's a washer in there. I get rid of these washers. Sometimes they have like a washer between the plate tune cap and the chassis to elevate it. But the shaft is right in the middle of the hole. You, you, you want a really good connection electrical connection between the plate tune cap and the grid that could cause parasitic issues if you don't so so it's connected directly to the chassis the connection points nice and clean I always cut down the studs on the front of the air variable when I replace it I've shown how I modify one same value same voltage and I the nuts I use are the smaller width nuts so it doesn't bring that connection point any closer to chassis ground if this thing is run within its specifications you will not have a problem with the tuners as long as you have a proper load on it and you're not abusing it and everything's right there's no reason to start you know putting vacuum variables in here or any of that crazy stuff the fan's sufficient the fan cools not only the top of the RF compartment but it also cools the bottom of the sockets it's very important to have cooling at the base of the sockets otherwise the pins will overheat and the solder will drip out okay so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you the bottom and yeah it got a set of Penta Labs tubes and uh, let me flip it over great company awesome customer service over there so I'm gonna flip it over and I'll be right back okay I'm back with the bottom show you everything I did down here let me grab a screwdriver so I don't have to use my fingers so I changed electrolytic cap I always change that ended up changing the wire as I showed before someone moved the resistor down which is part of the bias mod but they left the 110 120 volts of DC here at this contact so I removed that and went right to the coil but the wire was too short and it was go it was right riding right next to the output center conductor lead going to the output connector so new Teflon wire silver plated cernit I have people say why do you use it you don't need it I have lots of it I have thousands of feet I love it I love Teflon wire it's, it's nice you know <laughs> so um, anyway so I ran a new lead from over here around zip tied it nice to the and went to the coil and I ran a new lead from the other side of the coil over to the jack okay let me explain that the guy already has an ARB box this had some sort of aftermarket not aftermarket some homebrew soft key thing the problem is if that shorts and I've seen that happen before if that shorts you take out the winding you take out the winding on the filament transformer then you need a new filament transformer so zip tied everything else grounded the grids the proper way I've seen people use craft store wire they go to the screws or only a few and they go like a couple connection points you don't want to do that they loosen up you're in big trouble you lose a tube this is the proper way to do it you know with strap right to the chassis so everything else looks good. Clean the contacts on the TR relay, TR slash bias relay. Also clean the contacts on the input rotary switch and tighten up on the nuts, the internal and external nuts on the back of the meters. SO239s are good. And this thing is good to go. Also clean the, the rotary, the multimeter rotary switch, all with deoxic gold. Awesome stuff. So if you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119. Thank you for watching and please like, share, and subscribe. I have a lot more stuff to do. I think I'll work on a uh, Drake L7 next. Then I have a 922 and more SB220s. But very thorough. As you see, I do the same job on every single one. I do not, I do not skimp. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Catch you later.